What started off as a playful race for 16-year-old middle-distance runner Matthew Pulchan turned into a passionate commitment to coach and mentor youths in the community of Rosilac in South Trinidad. Matthew, who now spends the majority of his time giving back to his community by training young aspiring athletes, explains how he found his calling. It's basically me and my cousin, we were taking a walk to the parlor, right? And those young boys and them, they came to my cousin and asked him for a dollar, right? So, you know, he told them, he said, you know what? If all you want that dollar, all you had to run for that dollar. We ran the first race with them, they lost, right? Because the head start we gave them was basically too close. So we say, all right, you know what? This race now, if, all you, if one person between, that person get a hundred dollars for themselves, and everybody else getting fifty dollars. They were so hype. Well, I don't know, they say they want to train, they want to run. Even while devoting time to his own training, Matthew strives to impart valuable life lessons to the young athletes while making the experience enjoyable. I mean, they're sharing, I didn't want to inject any type of fear into them yet. I want them to enjoy it at the same time because I don't want, I don't want them to lose that, that feeling or that fun feeling where I was getting while I was running. It started off all fun and nice from the beginning. And from there, we gradually increased the intensity of the training. Right? And for the fact that they've they seen so much of progression, it's like they want it more now. Matthew acknowledges that he's able to positively influence his young protégés both on and off the track. I like the fact they feel comfortable being around me. I like the fact that I could, they could be open with me and talk to me and tell me what's going on. So now I could, I could basically relate to the situation and, you know, and I've seen so much of things that I'm doing that some of them basically mimicking and it does make me want to do right and make me think about certain things before I do it in front of them. He strongly believes sports can be used as a medium to instill discipline, self-confidence and perseverance through teamwork. Well, I like it to keep me occupied away from, you know, bad influences. Well, it's easy to me because I'm doing it a long time and I had the stamina for it. Before I had it started, we used to train like by a poor and poor, I don't know. And I could uh, barely even do a lap. I used to do like half in it and I used to like walk the rest. But now I keep on training and I feel like I get more better. But I feel the reason why I get more better is because of the motivation. I mean, it go make you feel occupied and you go have things to do. And you won't just be home sitting down lazy. As Matthew continues to inspire members of his community, he's urging more youths to become involved in sports and to stay away from negative influences to help steer them in the right direction. I am Keisha Marie Charles, giving voice to Generation Next for 60 News.